Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today I'm going to be changing up my readings a little bit. I'm going to be doing a deck review. So the deck that I am reviewing today is the Healing with Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. This is the first deck that I ever got, um, that I ever purchased on my healing journey and they have the principles of this deck have stayed with me so first we're going to look at the guidebook and look through the cards and then i'm going to do a reading for you that ha um <clears throat> it's like asking the cards um, like doing an interview with them like asking them how they can help all right so if you want to see more of these in the future please like this video and i'll take that as a sign um, leave me a comment in the comments if you have some feedback that could help and again thank you for watching i appreciate all of your time love and light all right here is the box that it comes in it has this little explanation here you can pause the video if you'd like to read it um in it was 15.99 um, and the copyright here is 1999. Okay, so these are a pretty old deck. And um, I'm filming this in 2022. And I want to say that this deck is out of print now. They no longer make it. Um, Doreen Virtue recently switched her belief system. So I'm not... And I haven't been keeping up with the switch. Um... Her Healing with Angels content um, really, really helped me, and so I like to focus on that. She uh, has changed up her beliefs to a more um, conservative Christian or Catholic uh, belief system, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but that should not discount all of the amazing Archangel work that she has done in the past. Um, so I guess I will say a quick little explanation of what I have read and understood um, about Doreen Virtue's life. Um, there was a day when she heard a voice in her head telling her to put the top on her convertible. And she heard it a couple times, so then she decided to listen to that voice. And when she got to church... A uh, man was trying to um, steal her car in the parking lot, um, but because the top was up, he was unable to, and she made commotion so that the people of her church came out and scared him away. That is basically what I have come to understand, and she realized that it was God, or an angel, speaking to her in her mind to protect her. So that is um, what I understand about Doreen Virtue's beginnings. <clears throat> There's probably many more stories, but that is the one that has stuck with me throughout this time. Um, so let's open this up here. Okay, there are... Uh, how many cards does it say? 44 cards. And this is how the back looks. And each card has a image um, and a border around it. Very beautiful artwork. I'll go through each card here. Retreat. Study. Surrender and release. Soulmate, Ideas and Inspiration, Listening, Trust, Romance, Power, Answered Prayer, Music, Miracles, Playfulness, focus, 
guardian angel. Self-acceptance. Divine timing. Nature. Manifestation. Dreams. Forgiveness. Emerging. New love. Harmony. Abundance. Balance. Friendship. Signs. Healing. Blessings. Serenity. Spiritual growth. Divine guidance. Children. Body care. Intention. Truth and integrity. Support. Meditation. Enchantment. New beginnings. Celebration. Freedom. And Archangel Michael. Alright, these are all the cards that come in the 44 card deck here. And here is the guidebook. Alright, it looks just like the cover of the case. And on the back it has writing and a little information about Doreen Virtue. Okay, and I have read Angel Therapy, Divine Guidance. That could be the book that I was referencing her, her past from. Uh, so let's go through this book now. Let's see what they got to say. All right. That is published and distributed by Hay House. Um, Jill Kramer and Jenny Richards also helped with this. All right. And here are the instructions. So step one, relax and center yourself. Step two, take the deck of cards in your hand. And it says to touch each card and hold love in your heart as you look through them. Step three, connect with your angels. Step four, ask your question. Step five, lay out the cards. Okay. <clears throat> so the ask your question and laying out the cards um, is a very important part of this. Okay. Asking your question while you shuffle the cards and then intuitively laying out the cards based on which card you feel is right. And trust your intuition knows the answer here. Please feel free to pause at any time if you like to read what it says. Okay. Interpreting the cards. So if you are reading a past, present, and future one, the first card is the past, the second card is the present, and the third card is the future. And you can ask for clarification on one of those three cards, or on all of the three cards, and pick another card as a clarification card. Um, look at the context, okay, look at how they're all related, um, look at the card's position, um, how, which way are, is the characters facing, is there something in there that um, you're noticing, trust that your intuition is explaining this. And in this deck it says that if the card is right side up, um, it means that that's what you are experiencing or will be experiencing. And if it's upside down, it means that there is a block in this area of your life. Okay. Or your client's life if you're reading for someone else. Okay. And also in the jumping cards, if you're shuffling and a card falls out, it could be a very important message for you. So set it aside. Um, 
for the reading to come back. Okay, it explains how to give an angel reading to another person. It's saying that you can, you don't have to be in person, you can do it over the telephone. Um, and then it talks about some spreads you can do. Okay, so past, present, future spread, one year spread, um, where you do 12 months. Each card is explaining what's going to happen in each month. Um, and also you can just pull one card um, out of the deck. Or you could also just use the book and open to a random um, page. Okay. <clears throat> and then throughout the book, it explains the meaning behind every single card here. And at the end, you can order the artwork by Shirley Ann. And this is an old um, order form. So I would assume you could... Oh, I guess this... I'm noticing that the artwork is by different people. Shirley Ann. We got Bruce Harmon. Or Ellie M. Reeve. Okay, so if you're interested in ordering these images, it seems like you can do so. I would check out um, either the Hay House website, angeltherapy.com. It's showing here. Um, I'm sure there is some way that you can either find this deck for yourself. Um, so yeah, that's the end of going through. So now let's do the in interviewing your deck spread. So this is the part I've been excited about here. <laughs> so I, I will show you guys how I shuffle. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you how I used to shuffle cards and then I'll show you how I do now. So I used to do this and I would do that as many times as each card that I'm pulling. So in this case, I'm pulling six cards. So I would shuffle six times. And then once I got to the sixth time, I would cut the deck and then pull six cards. Okay, but this is how I do it now. I just uh, let the cards come up and... Uh, this also helps it so I don't bend the cards. Um, but so the way that I know which card to pick out is the ones that are sticking up. So I'm going to knock on my deck to reset the energy here. Okay, and then I'm going to organize or shuffle the cards. And whichever ones are sticking out, I will pull those in order one two three four and five okay so universe <clears throat> they got one out for me and this is telling us about number one tell me about yourself okay number two what are your strengths i'm seeing this one um and then what are your limits okay what are you here to teach us? Okay. What can I best learn and collaborate? Oh, how can I best learn and collaborate with you? Okay. And what is the potential outcome of the relationship? All right. So I have the six cards now here. So here is, and I'm going to only read the uprights, okay? Um, here is two, three, four, five, and six, all right? So this is how it's laid out on the spread, uh, the paper that I'm looking at here. So the first question we have is, tell me about yourself. So this deck is going to tell us what it's about. Okay. Freedom. All right. And I'm getting the intuitive message that it's freedom from yourself, freedom from old beliefs, freedom to 
trust and believe that there is love in angels. Um, love is real. Um, freedom to express yourself. Freedom to unburden yourself. Take the chains off. Um, this deck is here to help you free yourself of, of the negative energy and find that positive, loving energy. Okay, that is the message I'm getting here. Um, so number two, what are your strengths as a deck? So the strengths are meditation. Okay, it causes you to look within. Um, the deck ex explains things um, like that are going on inside of you. Um, it's not so much about the outside world as it is your internal world that this deck helps us focus on, about what's going on inside of us um, and in our own lives. <clears throat> what are your limits as a deck? Okay, support. So what I'm getting is that the limits that this deck has is that your spirit guides cannot be there physically with you okay the you must trust that the these are the answers that you're supposed to be hearing okay they're saying the limit that we have is that we are not physically here but we are here supporting you if you can see that okay number four what are you here to teach me Okay, this deck is to here to teach us how to surrender and release old energy. And like we asked in pile number one, it's here to help you free yourself of old ways of being, of old beliefs that are not helping you. Okay, how can I best learn and collaborate with this deck? Okay, forgiveness. All right. Um, I noticed that often in this, in this deck... When I'm asking a question, maybe about someone else, how can I handle that other person? It's often uh, forgiveness, surrender, or release. Some kind of uh, self-acceptance. Some kind of acceptance and forgiveness. Um, the angels are very, very adamant about asking us to forgive the past so that we can invite in new energy that helps us in the future. Okay? Okay. And also, what is the potential outcome of your relationship? Okay, healing. 100%. Okay, this, this angel here is playing with this girl's hair um, out in nature. Okay, so this is a very... This position is very comforting. So the angels are saying, we can help you most in the healing area. Okay, they want you to be free. They want you to surrender and release and be forgiving. That is how we heal. Okay, and this deck can help you do that. All right, and its strength that it has is teaching you to, about what's within you. Okay, if you're asking like, what am I, what is this situation? What do I need to know about this situation? It'll come out with these words that are very simple if you understand what these cards mean, you can understand your steps to healing, okay? I would like to pull the book out and read this support description. <clears throat> okay. God, the angels, and the ascended masters who love protect and guide you are watching over you right now you are not alone and you are safe this card reassures you that you are part of an awesome and powerful team of benevolent benevolent beings they surround guide and love you consistently or constantly if you are in danger they will intervene with warnings or life-saving measures if you are afraid they will comfort you with the divine energy of love if you are confused, they will whisper guidance in your ear. By drawing this card, the angels and guides ask you to talk to them more frequently, have mental conversations with them about everything, 
and soon you will see the evidence of their existence. Soon the angels will enlist you to help other people. If you ever feel doubtful about your ability to help others, ask the angels to help you release these fears. So it definitely seems like what they're saying is um, the weakness is that you must believe, you must have this connection um, built from your own roots. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that this reading helped you understand this deck a little bit more. Um, and maybe if you're will if you're wanting to purchase this deck, um, you have a better understanding of what you're getting yourself into. Uh, thanks again. If you guys like this video, please actually like it and maybe even subscribe to my channel so that I know you guys like this and I'm going to make more of them. All right. Love and light.